Predis is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine, Tech Charge, Ray White Overproof Rum, Fui Culture, Campari, Respect the Bitter, JF Mills, The Heart and Soul of Your Kitchen, and Swiss Ketchup and Barbecue Jerk Sauce. Better because it's Swiss. We're in the parish of Clarendon for this week's episode of Predis, your favorite show for all things entertainment, lifestyle, and pop culture right here in Jamaica. It's a jump pack episode, so let's get right into it. Campari kicked off their summer campaign with their launch at Tack Bar in Devonos. You know the previous crew was there to give you highlights. Check it out. Campari team on the day, make some nice no? Yeah, you know what I said, no? Campari's gonna be leveling up your summer and everybody else's summer this year. It's already hot, I will get turn up the heat with all the giveaways, prizes. Look, you can access all access passes to Dream Weekend this year. I wouldn't know it's a full on VIP experience or even $300,000 cash in your pocket. And this is all simple and easy. Buy a bottle of Campari at your favorite supermarket, scan the barcode, and enter to win. And that's just the top line of what we're doing. You'd have noticed that we've been sponsoring quite a number of events this year because we're big on the entertainment industry and building it. So we've made big partnerships. So we've also partnered with Dream Weekend this year as their presenting sponsor. And the idea is elevating the experiences during each and every event throughout Dream Weekend this year. But you have to be there to experience it. And guess what? We're giving you access by allowing you a chance to win win accesses to Dream Weekend. So the campaign actually runs even beyond Dream Weekend because I said you also have a chance to win $300,000 cash. So right now we're running all the way till the end of August because that's what summer is about and we're running it hot. Right now you can reach out to any one of our platforms, Instagram, Facebook, you'll see all the promotions. And not just all Dream Weekend promotions, but you'll also see promotions about all the other partnerships that we have throughout the summer. So if you want to level up your summer, tune into Campari and the Campari pages. We are ensuring unique experiences throughout the entire Dream Weekend this year. Dream Entertainment has delivered nothing but exceptional events. So we decided who better to partner with and just elevate the experience. Hey, listen up. Just protect it to self. So you can never see no feel no. All who know the part of sing it down now. Me say, Father. Me load with Bible verse on me. Can't take me like self with Father God. Well, Campari is our title sponsor, so it's actually Campari Dream Weekend this summer. You know, Campari is all about leveling up the summer. They want to be the big brand in summer, so they want to come and be a part of the biggest festival, Dream Weekend. Um, we're looking forward to an amazing week. It's just a couple of weeks away, July 28th to August 1st. Of an amazing lineup, great event, five days, eight events, beautiful white sand beaches on the grill. What are the events on the lineup this year? All right, so we start on the Friday night with Celebrity Playground, headlined by Skeng. Saturday in the day is Daydreams with Shensia. Saturday night, Yush, with Wayne one time, first time on Yush. Sunday in the day is Wet and Wild at the water park. I mean, everybody's, that's like everybody's favorite party on Dream Weekend, the madness. Sunday night, we have Chronic Love, who's actually performing at the launch tonight at World Vibes. Monday in the day, Stark Ashley be on morning after. Monday night we have a new event, a partnership actually with Ramesh Entertainment called Island Beats. For that event we have Stefan Dang, Ding Dang and Rose Dan. And then we finalize off on the Monday with the, sorry, on the Tuesday with the glue headlined by Valiant. So solid solid lineup.
We've already met a few of them, so let's meet some more of the ladies in the 2023 Hyundai Miss Universe Jamaica pageant. It's been so good so far. I'm having fun. I'm excited to see what else we ha they have planned for us. How has that support base been? Well, Kevin, to tell you the truth, I've had random people walk up to me on the road and just pour words of encouragement into me to say, are you in any competitions? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, you're going to win everything. My family is here. They weren't able to come last time. And they're here now. They're so proud of me. All my friends, the girls from East that didn't make it to nationals. Yeah, I have a lot of support right now. Why did you decide to enter the pageant this year? Well, funny story. So about when COVID started to happen, I was laying in bed sick as a dog. And I just started watching this universe. And when I did this, when I saw them, I was like, wow, I can do it. And so since then, I've been hitting the stream running and I've been so utterly grateful for this opportunity. I have a sisterhood with these women. We're sitting here 17 hour days with each other, playing with each other's makeup, singing songs, doing gospel. It's beautiful and I'm so happy to be here. We have so much friendships here. Uh, we would describe it as sisterhood and I think that in itself is exquisite and on top of that we all have a purpose we all have a reason to be here and i think that you know jamaica and the universe should give us a chance to express ourselves and um yeah it's been an amazing experience so far what do you hope to achieve from this budget overall the crown that would be nice aside from that self-development and also nation building because my project Komi Culture which is the part of our look at my culture it looks about the youth and retaining our culture and youth development for the cultural and creative industries so I'm looking at giving back to my wonderful country Jamaica how has the pageant been for you this far um, it has been wonderful meeting a lot of wonderful young ladies, very confident, and I love the experience. I love it. Well, I am currently living in Toronto. However, I work as a flight attendant, so I'm back and forth between Toronto and Kingston. Um, what's your Jamaican connection? Well, two of my cousins were actually former Miss Universe Jamaica. I have Chantal Zaki, 2012, and Michelle Lucky in my family. And my mom's from Portland and my dad's from the grill, so I have a very strong connection to Jamaica. So for the most part, it's been really good. However, it's been a humbling experience because when you're surrounded by so many radiant women, it makes you stop and think, how can I be better? How can I be a better woman? How can I compare? That sort of thing. It's been very humbling, but it's been good so far. I've been making a lot of great connections. The girls are so lovely. I'm learning so much. I'm so excited. Ray and Neville, culture. Yo! New beginning, we're winning, so share our spirit where you're living, yeah. Share it. I make we all our one bar, you don't know we come from far. From far, easy. Anytime we're ready, we're country. Ah. We're around, we're tough, we come with we. Ah. No matter with the bad vibes, who are we around, a celebration time. We're around. A few we culture. We're around. Make we sure, yeah. We're around. Jamaican culture. We're around. And if you overprove, we're just a dream to the culture. We're around. He has produced songs such as Destiny by Squash and Energy by Skilly Bang. He's also done engineer work on songs like Sweepstakes Life by Squash. This week we meet producer and engineer Lamshade Music. Up next is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine. Take charge. More money than last year, yo. Richer, richer man, swear, yo. Try enough time and me feel still put in. How did you get involved in music production? Yeah, music production started um, with my brother. And my brother was the producer of the family, DJ Clooney. Yeah, so seeing him doing his thing, you know, just led me to just get love the craft and start doing it, you know. How long have you been involved in production? Yeah, well, I do it for about 15 years now, but professionally, 10 years. You know, cause I started as an engineer first, learned the ropes as an engineer, then recently started producing like, like mainstream. I grew up three years ago. Before me buy a car, me also work for when me call to girl, them they have a look, they rap each other on my book, and music me start to cook. Where in Jamaica you from originally, schools you went to? Yeah, well, from Lloydersville, St. Catherine. Yeah, I went to um, Lloydersville Primary and then Yorton, so I've been in St. Catherine. Yeah, I'm in my dear girl, I'm in a fear now, man. 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 Which artists you've done work with? Well, um, you know, the six of them say, so, you know, we have Squash, we have Kranikla, we have Bobby Six, we have Daddy One, we have Franco Grimm, 
skill being Tamili, a mix of all different words. Soka side, they have Bungie Garlin, um, Patrice Robert, you name it. Name me, at least, name me at least three songs you produce so far. Um, you know, people know Skilly Bang Energy, people know um, Squash, um, Destiny. Um, from engineer inside, you have Sweepstakes Live, engineer and Sweepstakes Live. Yeah, I'm a go wrong. I'm not fear no man. I'm be a current to me stay stubborn. What are the current projects that you're working on? All right, so we have a project coming out with Grim YG, I remember the six also. So the project and produce it and it has artists at, and it also. So apart from um, Grim YG, um, who else you've been working with? Well, we have a single out now with Bobby Six, Top Life. We have one out with Franco, Fully Six. You understand me? So, so basically right now, I focus on the artist career that I'm shared. Yeah, I'm still produce, yeah, I'm still engineer. You understand me? So, but I launch a career now as an artist. Easy if you switch, brother, me not trust mankind. Me believe y'all shan buy care, I'm fine. No trust, but you will step on landmine. It was so nice, we had to bring it to you twice. Last year, Milk caught up with DJ Brain from Mandeville in our Mix Master segment. Mix Masters is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine. Take charge of things anytime, anywhere. <laughs> Happiness is the name of the game today. We are here right on Malines Road, right in a DJ Brain headquarters. Well, go on. The man from the cool, Outside, less man. parish Outside, man. in the yeah, island. <laughs> so what's up? Good enough. How was it growing up in Mandeville? Tell us about Mandeville. Tell us your favorite thing about Mandeville. Why you're proud to represent Mandeville and well, Manchester. Well, Manchester is a good place. Mm -hmm. To be honest, cool, cool Mandeville. Be a girls and be a teens. Uh -huh. You know the thing go. Seeing, um, well, I went to L Institute, right? Yes. But unfortunately, high school for me, straight me a uh -huh. So I was a baller. Yeah. See? DJ Brain was a baller, but I didn't get the name DJ Brain just so. It was ball brain. Oh, okay. Because I love football. Yeah. I don't know how I'm doing this now, but this is my. So, what are you born with a football in your hand? Well, what, what position you play? Tell me. Striker. <laughs> I started from L Institute, to then to Glenmuir, mm -hmm. then to Clarendon College. I won, I won D Cup at Glenmuir in 2012 and won D Cup with Clarendon College in 2014, uh -huh. right? Well, it was great from there. Uh, with the musical journey, well, I got banned from football. One Why? Day. Well, my parents said, yo, you need to do your work in the brain. Uh -huh. And I said, boy, mommy, well, she said, yo, no more football. I said, no. She bought me a laptop, a HP laptop and so on. And I say, oh, can I like the music something, you know? So I don't know virtual DJ and so on. And it was my thing. Like music was in my blood from day one. And then I started from there, play at some school gigs and so on. And then she said it at work, then start investing in me tools them and I said I did the right, you know? <laughs> and then here am I now. We have done, we have done. When I when I when I take a, a, a look at your social media and your Instagram and thing, I love how you deal with your image you, you take a lot of pride in how you yeah, look yeah, and yeah. you have a lot of photo shoots and you keep us up to date <laughs> and so tell yeah. me about why is it important for you to keep up your image well the image mm -hmm. for one is the good word you get you get more 
you get more dates. You can't look like a country country man. You yeah. get more international playouts, more uptown playouts and so on when you keep up your image. You know? People look on it different. Yes. You know? After the break, it's our Panda Fire segment right here in Lionel Town. What bitter means to me, it means respect. Trust in the process. It might rough now, but go on push, brother. So when them say bitter, that just mean life I get better. Campari, respect the bitter. Veronica Booth and O'Neill Johnson are the owners and operators of Terry Sam Finger Licking Jerk Centre right here in Lionel Town, Clarendon. Let's hear why their customers keep coming back in this week's Pond Fire segment. Pond Fire is brought to you by JF Mills, the heart and soul of your kitchen, and Swiss ketchup and barbecue jerk sauce. Better because it's Swiss. Since I've been here, I've been trying your curry goat. What's about the curry goat that makes it so spectacular? Ah, everything about it makes it spectacular. I don't think, have you ever had a curry goat like this one before? I don't think so. I don't think so yeah. either. Yeah. Have you tasted a curry goat and taste any different than any other curry goat that you taste before? It's different, yes. This is, this is different. One of them are custom to. We, we have a special ingredient in this curry goat. Not one that I would share, you know. Just like KFC, we try to keep something secret, but... <laughs> Your business name is Finger Licking Jerk Center, but you do so much more than We do everything. Jerk up. You name it, we does it. If you feel like eating something and you want to call us up, just give us 45 minutes, tell us what you want, and we'll make it for you. What's on your menu options here? We have curry goat, jerk chicken, fried chicken, barbie fry, baked chicken, curry beef, brown stew beef. We have brown stew pork. We have jerk pork on weekends, sometimes, not every weekend, but on weekends. We do fish to order, any form of seafood, conch to order. And jerk, as in jerk chicken and jerk pork? Jerk chicken and jerk pork, correct. How long has the business been in operation? Well, this business has been in operation since March. We are here and it's been doing well so far. The support is great. We are loving it and that's why we're still here and continue to be here and hope to be here for a very long time. What are the most popular meals here? Which are the ones that people Go buy for a lot? Stew peas and hog head in coconut sauce. What's special about your stew peas? Ah, you have to taste it. <laughs> we are open from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. So it's lunch and dinner that you do it here? It is lunch and dinner we do. I try to do my thing different. I've, I try a lot of experiments. So, as me were telling Auntie that I eat the curry goat and it tastes different, yeah, I try many times I experiment at home and we try some things that nobody else would think I would use. Uh, for instance, I might say I would use like a piece of fever grass blend into my season. Right? So, it keep off a different flavor. How long have you been doing food? Over 20 years. Training tools for your dog is the focus of this week's True Tip. Let's find out more. It's now time for your True Tip of the Week, brought to you by True Pet Food. In America now, there's a drive of getting rid of e-collars, prong collars, all of those stuff. 
because of the improper use of the tools. Because tools help. We've had dogs that you just couldn't get to be calm and stuff without tools. And as a result of the, um, the lack of discretion and the lack of knowledge in using these tools, now we have to be trying to advocate again for these tools, which we never used to have a problem with. These are similar concepts, right? When you hear about Martingale, Martingale style is based on both sides coming in at once. Now this is a prong color, right? And to the untrained eye, are those who do not know about the tool, it will look like something dangerous as you see the prongs. But this is more humane than a, than a slip lead. Because when you use a slip lead, it pinches to one side. When you pull on it, for a while you'll feel the pain to one side of it. But with the prong color, the whole pressure goes fully around the dog and stuff. And, and the dog doesn't get pr um, pronged, <laughs> for a better sense. Yes, yeah, sure. So, her hand is small now, so it's not gonna... But let's say it would be like this. So the pressure would be fully around. And just, when there's a thing called leash pressure, where the amount of pressure that is used with this it's very light very very light so the dog will actually stop resisting uh, and stuff because they have something that is called opposition reflex if you pull this direction the dog wants to go what the prong color does is make sure it guides the dog the direction you're going For those who are not so clear on the prong colors, you still have the same concept here with the flat color, as noticed, because it's just the pressure that you want to come around here. So this is another tool. You can make the adjustments based on the dog's neck, and once you pull this tool, it closes it. So these are just few of the tools. The E color is it applies the same principle except it uses stimulation and vibration like a pager and low level but i would not no matter which one of the tools i would not recommend that an amateur uses these they need to be trained with it and that's the reason why we're having the problems no the lack of knowledge the ignorance regarding these The True Tip of the Week was brought to you by True Pet Food. Tanto Metro shares the backstory behind another one of his hit songs right after the break. There are lots of reasons to believe in a dog food brand. Great nutrition, great price, and your dogs love the taste. But what if it's also made for Caribbean dogs? No artificial colors or flavors with an eye on the environment, so we only use paper bags. Then you will be just as happy as your dog, truly. It's true, we love dogs. It's JF Mills Florent Mixes for your pastries, pancakes, festivals, Johnny Cakes, and many cakes. Your wraps, pizzas, rotis, spinners, and dumplings and fritters. Using our wide variety of flours to include counter, cake and pastry, all-purpose, whole wheat, and baking. Pick them up today, all from JF Mills, the heart and soul of your kitchen. Distributed by Caramel. Everybody get your taste buds ready. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Swiss ketchup pours better, tastes better, flavors better. Swiss ketchup makes your food and sauces yummy, yum, yum. Swiss ketchup loved by kids and adults. Swiss ketchup a delicious and favorite for all occasions. Ketchup is better because it's Swiss. Better because it's Swiss. In 1995, he scored a massive hit with his song Steamfish. Tanto Metro shares the backstory behind that song in this week's Fuego Culture segment. Fiwi Culture is powered by Ray White Overproof Rum. Fiwi Culture. No pain, no gain, my claim to fame. The wicked love of my soul, take me from the main two. And I'm a steamfish and my water crackers. What inspired Steamfish? There you go with my cousin again. You know, Trevor. I big him up, you know. Yeah, man. My cousin, you know, so I'm a little power from back in the day. So, I always love coping ideas. So, when he come again to me and say, yo, you know, Steamfish. I'm going to say, Punch it. 
And I'm a steam fish and my water crackers. Y'all think she bad, but me put her on the manners. Gabbing up the sheet and all I rip it like scissors. Couldn't take the shit off her only for slippers. And then me and him put the rest together. And then, of course, shocking vibes again. Because we have the privilege, and that was our home to vice. Steamfish start making waves in the dance hall, start playing on IRFM, and then, you know, the rest of the stations follow. And that, then there you go again. To know when, back in those days, when you really know when your song really, um, I punch it. Uh, like nowadays where you know, say, you know, uh, social media do it. But back in the days now, when you, when you take a stage feat now, when you have a stage show, and you punch it now, then you see the re crowd reaction, then you know, say, yo, you know what? People been listening to this song and people love it. So from there, huge forward again, all the teen splash from back in the days and, you know, different, different shows them that we do it all over in Jamaica. And I'm missing fish and me water crackers Girl think she bad but me put her on the manners What was it about steam fish that you think drew the attention of people? Why people gravitated towards the song? Well, you see, um, man him loves eat steam fish You know, because if you sing about Guinea's steam fish You know, Baba Roots You know, all them little things there and, 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 You know, and put, a, and put it together, put, put the words them together You know, people love them things there So, when you think about so you think about steam fish and water crackers, you know, people, people, man and man, I feel them favorite meal that, especially on all the weekend, uh, you know, somebody will love it during the week, stay away. So recording session for that song again, it was just fun, you know, literally fun in the studio because, you know, the engineers them come in again, management at the time come in again, and everybody put in there, giving their input, yo, this song nice, you know, yo, and everybody just a dance and I rock, come like a dance with it at the time. You know, it's like we're in a dance, so everybody just put them, give, it, give, it, give me the input and say, yo, this is a lovely song, so it was just fun all over again. Me in a tight up skirt, tell me say she hot, and she want my shawak, as me yo she said that, me whole body jack. To, get, to hear your song playing on those radio stations, you know, at that time, feel good for no, say yo, yo, you, 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 you do a song and here you go, on the radio again, playing. When me a steam fish on the radio, what? Two foot them up now the year, jump up like them little kid, you know? Fun. <laughs> That's excited for now, say, yo, yay. Yeah. I'm, I'm hearing myself on the radio. And then again, now, back in those days, when, 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 when the song finished, you know, my friends them come over and um, knock me up and say, yo, just hear the song, Nico, while the song sounds good. So it's a great feeling. If you had the opportunity to go on an expedition, say, to the moon or to the bottom of the sea, which one would you pick and why? Members of the public share their views in this week's YPRI Vox Pop segment. YPRI is brought to you in partnership with Campari. Campari, respect the bitter. When I go to the moon, yeah, definitely. When I go to the moon, why? Because I always look up. So any any going me or going anywhere is most up. You know, I me not me not really look down. So it, it's, it's simple. It's it. It don't really need much more explanation than that. I just I go cut towards the moon because I want to go up amongst the stars. I like the wish part of the stars. Why? Why Why? Why you choose the moon? On the point top. I don't go low. You see it? I choose the sea. Well, I'm an environmentalist, so I like to explore. So I would choose the sea. The sea is a very important place, and I would like to see what's down there. You're, you're more interested in the Earth environment than in space? Yes, yes. Moon straight, always in feet up, no bottom. As they say, stars, sky is the limit, right? Yeah, where I go bottom for? Because nothing not done more than water, something where you can't even hold on pants so. The sky is the limit for me, moon. I would pick the moon, a reason being, I really think that if people should really go out of space and really see how insignificant and small the earth is, they would really do better to live with each other in harmony. No, 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 none of them, none of them, none of them. Not even the moon, you didn't walk a space, see what's, see what's up there? I'd have tried that one, but to the bottom of the seats, I don't know. So to the moon then? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Those were the views of the public. Tune in next week for more YPRI. YPRI is brought to you in partnership with Campari. Campari, respect the bitter. On your mark, get set, go. The race is on to see who has the number one song in the country. Check out the Magnum Top 10 chart. Man bad like in 90s Tell a boy don't step on me Nikes Only pop
bang ko santan dia Mekad hurak jang ko tak bang dia Skati klak tu syat man From me a juvenile and the money a call Me call me data fin ko pens and me son in a hand it A self defense me saw a ball out Couple crews for me It's right now we Instagram famous it less spontaneous And if it have right me we buy a rap bag It's in a filly give me And if it gotta get wild out tonight Wild Party in a m Pin it Say you're bad from which part? V6 pan it all and it can't stop How I do it back past that Right here at Jamalco in Hayes Clarendon is how we say goodbye to the parish and this week's episode of Predis. I've been your guest presenter Aidan Alexander and I'll see you next time. Predis was brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine, Tech Charge, Ray White Overproof Rum, Fui Culture, Campari, Respect the Bitter, JF Mills, The Heart and Soul of Your Kitchen, and Swiss Ketchup and Barbecue Jerk Sauce, Better Because It's Swiss.